Lesson 5.3.3 Proving Triangle Congruence Theorems AAS and SSA. In this video, we will be determining the relationship between two triangles and whether they are congruent. Determine the relationship between the triangles and whether or not they are congruent, or whether or not they can be proven to be congruent. All right, so looking at the first one here, I'm given this side and this side. I'm given this side and this side. And I'm given this side and this side. So I have three sides of a triangle. And in the previous sets of videos and notes that we've taken, we found that if three sides of a triangle are congruent, then the triangles. Um, so the statement is going to say two triangles are related by SSS. So the triangles. can be proven congruent. So what I'd like you to do is try number four. You need to think of the different congruences that we know and see if you can figure out which one this is. So hopefully you found that the two triangles are related by side angle side. So the triangles can be proven congruent. So we have some more of these to try. So go ahead and look at number five and see if you can figure out which one of those is it is and then check and see how you did. So hopefully you found that the two triangles are related by angle side angle. So the triangles can be proven congruent. So again, let's go ahead and try number six on your own and then check and see how you did. So hopefully you found that the two triangles are related by AAS, so the triangles can be proven congruent. So continuing on, we have a, a few more of these. Um, so number seven, this time we have that whole SSA thing going on. Okay, we have this side and this side. We have this side and this side. And we have this right angle right here and this right angle. So if you remember, I told you that SSA isn't necessarily can't necessarily be proven um, congruent. So these are special. And what's special about them is that only if you have a right angle and only if you are given the hypotenuse, okay, which is the side opposite the right angle, and you're given one of the legs, 
we can say that it is proven by H L and so this can can be proven congruent so looking at the one next to it we also have the hypotenuse okay we also have a leg but our angle this time though it is congruent is not a right angle so because it's not a right angle this is a side side angle and it can not cannot be proven congruent okay um, and we have one more this last one we are given an angle we're given a second angle and we are given a third angle the problem with having only angles is that without knowing the leg of one of them the two triangles can be what we call similar but but not necessarily congruent okay one could be they could have the same angles but one could be larger than the other and then there at that point they're not congruent because a congruent triangle is the same size and shape as the other so this one is Okay, cannot be proven congruent. So that is how we determine the relationship between the two triangles and whether or not they can be proven congruent. And those are the last of your notes for today.